up, people? This is William Jones making videos about leaving religion. The purpose of the videos is to get you to think. Turn your brains on and think. And use logic and use reason and realize that religion is fake. All right, people. For this video, I want to do something totally different. I want to do something totally different than what I usually do. I don't want to do a whole video based on religion. Not really. I want, I want to share something with people that I try to share with people in my current world, but no one seems to care. So I figure I'll just put it in one of these videos and those who might be interested will check it out. And if you still don't care, then whatever. But I'll put it out there. Okay, so to, so to stay true to the uh, theme of the uh, videos, here we go. Jesus is fake. Yahweh is fake. God is your imagination. Holy Spirit ain't real. I said it. All right. Now, for those who always follow the video, you're not shocked. For those who are probably their first time seeing the video, it's like, oh. I can't believe you said that. Oh, 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 oh. Right. It's out the way. So check it out. This is what I want to talk about. I want to talk about math. I want to share these math formulas before I one day die and they're gone. Now I don't I know I discovered them, these things for myself back in like uh 2004, 2005, when I first moved to the Atlanta area, and uh, I worked at a company running a printing press, and we ran uh, rolls of paper. We we printed papers for uh, wax paper, you know the papers that you get from Subway that they wrap your subs in, uh, Quiznos, Culvers, Red Lobster. Uh, Shalotskis, to name a few, the ones I can name, they, you know, with the waxes on the paper, they wrap the food up so it doesn't just totally soak through. And when we ran these rolls, it would take three and a half hours to run a roll of paper. And I worked third shift, so in this time I had a helper. So either uh, the helper might have been watching the machine, we kept ink in the vats, because there's a lot of ink being used. One person's watching, the other one might be asleep. I ain't working no more, so truth be told, I got some of the best sleep I ever had on that job. So one of us watch the machine, the other one be asleep. Sadly, sometimes we both might be asleep, but that's not the point. I'd be so bored, I started just messing with numbers. And one thing I did with numbers is something, uh, I want to say it's simple, but I don't know who I can say it's simple to where I was uh, playing with numbers trying to figure out percentages. And I was figuring out percentages because, you know, you leave high school, you don't, you don't know nothing of that stuff. So let's say, for instance, uh, uh, and people had me figuring out their paychecks for them so they knew how to pay their bills before they got their check. This is 2004 or 5. Internet wasn't a big thing. We were still probably starting to use MapQuest where you printing out your directions before you went somewhere. Y'all, so for those of you who remember that, I was actually still buying maps too. So let's just say hypothetically, right? Let's say you made uh, fifteen fifty an hour, right? Fifteen dollars and fifty cents an hour when you work forty hours that week. That comes out to six hundred and twenty dollars for the week. Okay. Now, if they took taxes out of your check, I'm just gonna guess a number. Uh, let me see. That's six twenty. I'm gonna say. All right, all right, let's, let's, let's say you have $620, right? That's what you made, gross. No taxes, gross. And then they took out, let's just say, um, $91. I, I can't say it's accurate, but let's say it's $91. They took $91 out of your check. Now your check came to five, uh, $529. So it was like, well, how are we figuring out what the percentage is, what they're taking out? Okay, well, if you took out the... Uh, the uh, ninety-one dollars become you know uh, five hundred twenty-nine dollars. So what did they take out the ninety-one dollars? 
So you would take the $91, multiply that times 100, okay? And then divide that by the $620 that you made. And that would give you a percentage of what it took out, which would be uh, 14.677. So whenever you wanna know what percentage, whatever the percentage is they took out of your check, you take your gross, find out what they took out of it, take the difference of what they took out multiply that times 100 divided by the gross and then that will give you what the percentage is so this is simple but i was doing this for people you know every week and they just want to know what they was making if it worked overtime so far i could pretty much get it close to where you was what you was going to get because if you work overtime that percentage goes up so you got to watch you know if we did it enough i could figure out what the percentage was and tell them what it was and they figured out the checks Whatever they was doing, I don't know. And it was always private. I never told nobody their business. It was always uh, discreet, okay? That was one of the things I did. Another thing I remember I did was uh, uh, the guy who worked first shift, he actually had trained me. He came in one morning and I had a little bit left on the roll to run. And I let him know, hey, that roll's about to come off. I'm about to leave, you know, you can go ahead and take that roll off. He was like, no, nah, that roll about finished, that's your roll. You got to take it off. So, But I get off at 7 in the morning. I done been here all night. I done been here since 11, a, uh, 11 p, uh, p.m. And I'm like, oh, so we going to act like this? We going to act like this so you can make me take this roll off? Well, I mean, it's at the end, that's your roll. He ain't want to take it off. I said, you know what? You, you'll get me this one time. But you'll only get me one time. And on the rolls of paper, it would show you how many thousands of feet the paper was. If it was 51,000 feet, it'll tell you how many thousand feet the, the, the paper was. The press would show you how many feet per minute you were running. Now, I would just calculate exactly if I run at this speed, what time the roll will come off. And I'll tell you never ever again that I leave enough where you can tell me he want me to take that roll off. I left enough where now it's gonna be running about 15 minutes after I'm gone, so that's your roll. Peace, I'm out. All of this I was doing from being bored, running the press. If I wasn't asleep, I was either cleaning, playing in the wax, shadow boxing, and playing with numbers. This is what I did. So my, my whole point is this. So one day I started messing with numbers to try to see if I could find patterns. And one pattern I actually discovered, the first one I discovered was with the number 11. Now, if you take the number 11 and multiply that number times any two-digit number, there's a formula for it that's not the regular formula that we use in school. Like I said, I, I may not be the first to discover this, I probably doubt that, but I could be one of the people that did discover it and maybe never shared it. There's billions of videos on YouTube, so maybe somebody did share it, and I just haven't seen it. I haven't looked because I know it, so why would I look? I'm just saying. But check this out. Let's start with the most simple of the simple. 11 times 11. The one thing when you multiply any two-digit number by 11 is you take the last number drop it down as the last number. You take the first number and drop it down as the first number. You add the two numbers together, boop, put that number in the middle, and you have your answer. Now I hope I just put that on the screen and y'all saw that. So again, whenever you multiply any two digit by, by 11, you're going to take the two, the first and the last numbers, you're, you're basically going to spread them apart, make the first the first, the last the last, add the two numbers together, drop them down into the middle. Now, if one of them happens to be more than 10 and it carries over, then take that one and drop it and add it to the first number, and it'll click to the next number that it is. But that's it. 11 times 11 is 121. The one over here, the one over there, the 1 plus 1 is 2, 121. You take any number. If you had uh, 300, I mean 33, 
you would take the three, put the three in the beginning, the end, the three in the beginning, and then you would add the three plus three is six. Three sixty-three. That's your answer. That's with two-digit numbers. And I was like, oh, I wonder if you can go further with this and do it with three-digit numbers. And yes, you can still do the same thing with three-digit numbers. Only difference is when you do it a three different three digit number is you can write you can split the two numbers and write them down if you choose but if those numbers are going to be greater than 10 you're going to end up changing that first number so I wouldn't write it down I would just add the numbers from the right to the left and and you're going to get your number so you're going to drop the first number let's say we got uh let me get my pad so I, I, I have it back in here so let's say we do a three digit number right so let's do 111, 111 times 11. So you're going you're gonna to add your numbers from the right to the left, from the last number to the first number. So just drop your first number. That's the last number. That will be the 1. Then the next two numbers, you add them together. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Drop that down. Then add the next two numbers, the middle number and the first number. 1 plus 1 equals 2, drop that down, you get the 2. And then you take the first number, drop down, and you get 1,221. Boom, that's your number. You could do this with any three-digit number when you're multiplying by 11. Now, let's say you have a three-digit number, you have to carry a number over. Same principle, like I said, and I'm going to use the numbers in, for the video, ooh, 666, all right? 666 times 11. We're going from the last number to the first number. So you drop your first six down. Boom. So now six plus six is 12. You're going to drop that two from the 12, but put that one over the next six. And when you add that next, the, the middle six plus the first six, you're going to get 12, but you're going to add that one, which is going to give you 13. So you're going to drop that three and carry that one over to what would normally be the six you would drop down at the beginning number, add that one to it, and you'll get a 7 that gives you 7,326. That's the formula. You don't even have to do it the old way. It's, it's funny how numbers can work different ways just depending on how you do it. And, and you could do that with a 4-digit number, the 5-digit number. You can keep it going long as it's time 11. Now, let's say if I, I took this, I, I messed around with the same number, right? Watch this. And I added a... Uh, Oh, I should have been ready for this. I did multiplying 11. No, no, no. No, not 11, but 111. And it follows the same formula. Watch this. If you did 111 times 111, same formula. Start from the last number to the first number. If we're going to add 111 times 111, you're going to take, take the first number. You're going to drop that number down. Okay, boom. You're going to add the next two numbers together. That's going to give you 2. Then you're going to add all three numbers together. 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives you 3. You drop that number down. Then you add the, the, uh, the next two numbers, which would be the technically the first number and the second number. That get 1 plus 1 is 2. That gives you 2. Uh, and then you would just take the 1 and drop it down, which gives you 1,321. So 111 times 111 is 1,221. That's the formula. And you just work it out as, I mean, that's just how it goes. So I'm just giving y'all that right there, okay? That's how 11s work. If you got uh, 33, like I said, 33 times 11. 3 here, 3 there. 3 and 3 is 6, 363. It's simple. Uh, 25 times 11, 2 in the front, 5 in the back, 2 and 5 is 7, 2, 7, 5. Simple formula. Now the next thing I was checking out, I started messing around and messing around with 3. Messing around with the number 3. And Nikolai Tesla was saying, if you can understand the number 3, you can understand a lot of things. And this is the crazy part about the number 3. Not just the number 3, but with a lot of the numbers, if you look at them, there's always a pattern that follows these numbers. There's a pattern that follows when you add the sum of the numbers of the answer. Okay? So let's say we multiply them by 3. And so we start with 3. And then 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 
uh, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 6 is 18, and then we get to 21, to 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, right? But, but the whole pattern is 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9. This is what I mean. Your first, if you start out with three by yourself, it's, I mean, you begin at the beginning, it's three times two is six, then you get nine. The next three is going to be 12, 15, and 18. But if you add the 12, you add the one plus the two, you get three. You, ask, you uh, add the one plus the five, you get six. You add the one plus the eight, you get nine. Let's skip to the next set. And then after that, it's 21, 24, 27. You add the 2 plus the 1, you get 3. You add the 2 plus the 4, you get 6. You add the 2 plus the 7, you get 9. This is going to repeat all the way through no matter how high you go. Let's go to the next set. 30, 33, 36. So that would be what? 3 times 10, 3 times 11, and 3 times 12. 30, 33, 36. On 30, you add your 3 plus your 0, you get 3. You add your 33, 3 plus 3, you get 6. 36, 3 plus 6, you get 9. One more time. And then you go to the next one, 39, 42, 45. You get the 3 plus the 9 equals 12, which then turns into 1 plus 2 equals 3. You get your 4 plus 2, your 42, your 4 plus 2 equals 6. And for 45, 4 plus 5 equals 9. No matter how you do it, this same pattern is going to follow, and you'll know if you got it right because the sum of those numbers should equal 3, 6, 9. 369, 369, and it doesn't change. There could be more to this, but if you know what it is, then please, by all means, let me know. And I, and I messed around, I did this one right here, right? So I can find the right quick, big notebook for this. Let's say I, I took, I took 7,678 times 3. That came out to two, uh, 23,034. That came out to 23,034. So I took those numbers from 23,034, the 2 plus 3 equals 5, the 5 plus 3 equals 8, the 8 plus 4 added on equals 12, and then that 1 plus 2 plus 2 equals 3. If you add 3 onto that, you get 23,037, the 2 plus 3 equals 5, the 5 plus 3 equals 8, the 8 plus 7 equals 15, and then that 1 plus 5 equals 6. And then you add on three more, you get 23,040. The two plus three equals five. The five plus four equals nine. Boom. No matter where you go with it, we're multiplying with three, it's going to end up three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Three, six, and nine. Okay? So let's, let's watch this and switch it up. Let's go and multiply by six, which is just double of three. But watch this, when you multiply by 3, I mean multiply by 6, watch this. We start out 6 plus, six times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18. Let's stop right there. The 6 equals 6, the 12, 1 plus 2 equals 3, and the 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9. Your formula now is 6, 3, 9. So instead of 3, 6, 9, it's now 6, 3, 9. The 6 is not the first number. Let's go to the next set. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 6 is 36. So we take the 24. 2 plus 4 is 6. The, three, the 30. 3 plus 0 is 3. And the 36. The 3 plus 6 equals 9. One more time. Go to the next one. Uh, 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 8 is 48. Uh, and 6 times 9 is 54. So we take the 40, the 42, the 4 plus 2 is 6. The 48, the 4 plus 8 equals 12, which 12 is 1 plus 2 equals 3. And we take the 54, the 5 plus 4 equals 9. The pattern continues. Somebody might be saying, man, this ain't all that deep. Okay, whatever, you take there, whatever. Okay, whatever, then. You ain't got to watch the video. Just move on. But for those that don't know, there's something here. And it's, it's funny how the numbers, the numbers don't, the people lie. But the numbers don't lie. Now the one I've always known about, they talked about was the number nine. Okay? Let 
the number nine. Nine times anything always equals nine. It don't have a pattern other than it's going to be nine. So the three is going to be three, six, nine. The six is going to be six, three, nine. But nine is going to be nine. Okay? Just case of point, just, just to show you this we're doing it. So nine times one is nine. Nine times two is 18. Nine times three is 27. So we add the nine by itself is just nine. The one plus eight equals nine. The two plus seven equals nine. And the thing about those numbers, as you notice, is as the first number counts up, the second number counts down. The, the one counts up, one counts down, boom, until they until they reach the 10 spot, right? So you got 9 and then you got 18, a 1 and an 8, then a 2 and a 7, a 3 and a 6, a 4 and a 5, a 5 and a 4, a flip, a 6 and a 3. Everything you just did, you're flipping it, a 7 and a 2, a 1 and an 8, and then back to a 9 with a 0. All of those are going to equal 9. No matter, whatever, if you multiply 9 times anything, add the numbers up. If you don't get 9, it's wrong. 9 times anything, the sum of the numbers should equal 9, or else you are wrong. So as I went over that, I just started looking at other numbers. Let's see. I, I, I took 4. Now, 4... Is basically almost right there with two, and and I don't know if people know this. If if you multiply any even number, you always. I mean, if you multiply even number, you'll always get an even number. Even numbers only begat even numbers. If you ever get an odd number with an even number, you're wrong. It's going to be an even number. It's going to end in zero, two, four, six, and eight. It's got to. There's, there's no change in that. The only way you get an odd number is when you add an even with an odd. Then you get an odd number. Because you can add an odd with an odd and you're going to get an even. But add an odd with an even and you get an odd. Alright? So but watch, watch the pattern with the fours. I could have done two, but two is so basic. I just want to show the patterns of this. I'm just showing the patterns, okay? 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 10 is 40. So in those first one, the first 9, this is the pattern we get. 4 is by itself, you get 4. 8 is by itself, you get 8. 12, 1 plus 2 is 3. Uh, 16, 1 plus 6 is 7. 20, 2 plus 0 is 2. 24, 2 plus 4 is 6. 28 equals, uh, 2 plus 8 is 10. 1 plus 0 equals 1. Uh, 32, 3 plus 2 is 5. 36, uh, 3 plus 6 is 9. You're back at 40. 4 plus 0 is 4. We're right back where we started. Now, 4 times uh, 11 is 44. Right? 4 times 12 is 48. 4 times 13 is 52. 4 times 14 is 56. 4 times 15 is 60. 4 times 16 is 64. 4 times 17 is 68, 4 times 18 is 72, 4 times 19 is 76, right? And 4 times 20 is 80. So let's bring it back to 40. 4 plus 0, 4. 4 plus 4, 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. Uh, 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 plus 6 is is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2 for that one. <clears throat> 60. 6 plus 0 6. 6 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus, I mean 1 plus 2. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What am I saying? My bad. 6 plus 4 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 68 is uh, 
6 plus 8 is 14, and the 1 plus 4 equals 5. 72 is 7 plus 2 is 9, and then 76, 7 plus 6 is 13, which would be the 1 plus 3 is 4. Bring it back to uh, 8 plus 0 is 8. So look at the pattern here for that. 4, 8, 3, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5, 9. 4, 8, 3, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5, 9. It's going to follow that same pattern. It's going to follow that same pattern. When you add the numbers up, the numbers should always equal the same thing. And let's go to the next one, which is odd number, number five. And if y'all watch Schoolhouse Rock like I did, you know that 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. I got Schoolhouse Rock in there on DVD. Still watch it. Yes. It's good. All right. So watch. If you do the fives, five times one is five equals five. When you get your ten, one plus zero is one. Fifteen, one plus five is six. Twenty, two plus zero is two. Twenty-five, two plus five is seven. Thirty, three plus zero is three. Thirty-five, three plus eight is eight. No, three plus five is eight. I'm sorry. Forty, four plus zero is four. Forty-five. We, we start all over again. 4 plus 5 is 9. Come back to 50. 5 plus 0 is 5. So the pattern is 5, 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9. Back to 5. 55 starts the whole thing over again. 55, 5 plus 5 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 60. 6 plus 0 is 6. 65. 6 plus 5 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. 70. 7 plus 0 is 7. 75. 7 plus 5 is 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. 80. 8 plus 0 is 80. 85. 8 plus 5 is 13. 1 plus 3 is 4. 90. 9 plus 0 is 9. 95 is 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. So the pattern here. 5, 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9. Right back to 5, 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9, 5. Multiplying by 5. There is a pattern here that doesn't stop. And I did I did it with 7. What else I did it with? I mean, I mean you can keep going. Whatever you're multiplying, you're going to find out that there's a pattern that the sum of the numbers equal the same thing. Like they say, people lie, the numbers don't lie. Just, just, just for entertainment. That's all I'm saying. In a beautiful short, let's just do seven. The numbers don't lie. Whatever, I mean, whatever goes on with the numbers, I don't know. But I just like sitting around playing with them and uh, trying to see what they do. So... That's what I was doing for this video. Something different. I got some more something different videos of things I think about is not just about religion because that's just not everything. You know? Religion doesn't really get anything solved. It doesn't solve anything. It's 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 a it's a uh what you wanna call it? Religion is where you quit, where you give up. God did it. God did it. How did this happen? God did it. And we don't explore any further. Let's just look into things and try to figure out what, what's going on here. Well, what, I'm say, what I like about numbers is numbers is universal. It's not a it's not the language. It's it's yeah, it's the language in computers. The zeros and the ones. It's it's a language that I don't know if I even want to say this, but numbers is a language beyond language. And that's how we do things. I don't care where you're from, we can use these numbers. And there's a code in these numbers that we can figure out. So Nikolai Tesla was all on the number three. 
he was all on the number three. And I'm just saying that when you got the three, six, and the nine, they all go together. And if you got the three, six, and the nine, that means you also got the 12, you got the 15, you got the 18. There's something with them as well, because they're all divisible by three. Three is a magic number. Something with that three. Even while you think in church, why they pick the Holy Trinity? They picked the Holy Trinity. Something with the Trinity. Something with the threes that they picked. You know how we say mother, father, son. You know what I'm saying? There's something with the tr with the threes. I mean, we just need to learn something and, and learn more. And if you watch the video and you picked out something you want to show me, then do something. Do something. I'm cool with that. So look, I'm just making this quick little video. I, I just want to talk about this. And I got another video coming out about, uh, I don't even want to say what it's about. I don't know. You can say about reality, the matrix, all of that. Where are we for real? And I've been holding it, kind of skeptical to release it. But somebody in the comments did say, you know, yeah, drop something else. I mean, we, we want to hear what you're thinking. Yeah, well, if you got something else to say, say it. And so with this one, I'm saying it. And I'm still holding to the video. I, I got to drop the other videos. And uh, my mom and my grandma are coming back. Uh, this next week is, today is actually Monday. They're coming back the next Monday, Monday or Tuesday. So I don't know how that'll go. But I'm going to try to get this video up as soon as possible. But I got to edit it because I did all this talking. So I'll see what I can do with it. People like and subscribe to the videos and uh, share them if you choose to. This wasn't so much of a religious video, just talking about some real life stuff. And like I said, if you got some information you want to share with me, share as well. And I appreciate all the love for, in the comments. I appreciate it. I need it. I mean, for real. Because sometimes I'm really thinking about quitting doing the videos. Like, they know I paint any videos no more. Until I read the comments and people in and, and So what if I don't have 100,000 people watching? Or maybe even 50,000 people watching. I guess the people that's watching are the ones who enjoy watching them. And, and I mean, it is what it is, you know? So, I'm out of here and I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care out there. Peace.